What's up y'all, it's Chuka the Barber, got another video for y'all. This cut is a wavelength fade, uh, cut came out dope. Also threw a part on the top, uh, started slightly past the center on the right side, crossed it over to the left side, and uh, hooked up his full beard. All right, so let's get into it. As always, I'm using our men's Pro Rich Collection shampoo and conditioner, uh, making sure that the scalp is clean, the hair is clean, ready for me to do my work. At the same time, providing plenty of nutrients for both the hair and scalp to help promote healthy hair growth. Alright, so we're going to take him back to the station. Get him back fully draped up. That's the before shot. So we're going to blow dry the hair a little bit. The clippers I'm using today are the wall ledges. And I put a standard blade on them. Recently, I purchased them. Because uh, years ago, man, I used to go to work with these. Really used to love these clippers. They got cords on them, but they solid the clippers. So um, right now I have a one-fourth card on there, and I'm trimming the hair, taking it down to the wavelength, keeping it dark. Then I got a one-eighth on there where I trim the front of the hairline, to prep it for the lineup. And now the trimmers I'm using are the wall detailers. Uh, these have a modified blade on them that was modified with my one-minute blade modifier. You want sharper lines, closer shaves. Uh, that is the tool to achieve that. So I've created my first guideline and uh, keeping it mid-range. Uh, this is gonna be a mid-fade, so uh, not too high, not too low. And now I'm using my ended shaver to get him completely bald and smooth. Now I have our enhanced fiber hole spray, which I will use as a lining spritz. So I would put a good amount, solid amount, on the sanding strip, apply it across the hairline, allow it to dry, and this will hold the hair in place in a controlled position, making it easier for me while I'm lining them up. All right, and if you put a good amount of enhanced hole spray, you can also get the ash line effect. All right. Um, I don't overdo it. Sometimes I do, especially if somebody has more of uh, thinning hair around the hairline, then I apply a lot more. That way I can create that ash line. And this way it just helps me get the symmetry right because I can see a full hairline. But if they have a full hairline, slight ash line is, is fine for me. Uh, so now I have the uh, trimmers and I'm taking my guideline up slightly, making sure I fully remove it. And uh, also doing this by reversing the trimmer, as you saw in the, in the guideline that way. So now I have a 1 8 guard lever all the way open. And what I'm doing is just removing a good amount of bolt, taking it, about, taking it up about an inch, inch and a half. And now I'm ready for my fade work. So I have the lever closed all the way. I got a flash comb with me and uh, we're going to start blending. So I'm taking the fade up just slightly with the lever closed, making sure that the bottom of my blend of this fade is gonna be real tight so that it really pops. Uh, slight adjustment, taking up slightly more. Uh, this is the way I fade and some people are confident. Uh, not everyone is confident uh, fading this way because you really, uh, it seems like you're taking a fade up too high. Uh, it's kind of hard to gauge sometimes uh, where you're at because the blend is so tight at the bottom and it looks like it's kind of one like the the transition is real uh faint like you really gotta uh you know practice this technique and kind of just trust in the technique um and you saw i just made another adjustment and taking it up slightly more but you also see i'm not taking a blend up real high you know I'm, I'm slightly going up as i blend so it's not like uh huge steps in my blend as far as uh the distance between uh the guideline and the new guideline I'm created, creating. So uh, it, with each adjustment, I take it up a little bit and create a new guideline. And you can see, like, it looks like it's not even blended, but it is. I mean, you can see it, but you know, uh, it's it's real light. But that's what actually makes the fades pop. Right now, you know, I'm gonna blend the thicker bulk of the hair into that bottom fade, and you'll see it come together. And you'll see how how it looks. Um, this is a 1 16th card on. That was the lever open. Um, and now I have a 1 8th card on, taking it up a little more. Uh, just removing that bulk out the way so I can get back to my blend. Now I'm going to start blending uh, my way down. 
bring the lever in some. Now you can see I have a one fourth guard on. Lever open, taking it all the way up to the crown area. And you can see the blend. Lever closed, work my way down a little bit. Once that's done, I'm going to do a little touch-up work. Utilizing the corner edge of the clipper blade to knock out any dark spots. And now, same technique on the other side. Making sure to fully get out that initial guideline. And I'm going to blend it out. Same process, same technique. that extra hair out the way prepping for my blend then working with the lever all the way closed then we're making the small adjustments working our way up keeping the blend tight staying consistent all the way through more consistent you are with your guideline the less cleanup work you're gonna have another small adjustment taking it up a little more you want to make sure that you always blend out the previous guideline fully before you go to the next step this again is going keep you from having too much cleanup work So when you blend one side and then you blend the other side, you gotta make sure when you're working that back, you bring it all the way over to the opposite side so that it can blend correctly. Uh, so blend all the way into the other blend. That's basically what I'm saying. Again, now we're doing detail work on this side using the edge of the blade to knock out any dark spots. Now we're gonna hook up his beard. So when lining up the beard, what I do is uh, if it's coming off, if we're keeping it high and it's coming off the side of his lip right there, that, that's what I use to uh, match the sides. And then I angle it up a little bit and just do a straight line. And then at the top, I curve it. So that allows me to um, easily match each side. So just think of it as a simple, easy two-step process. You know, straight, slanted line. Once you get up uh, near the uh, the cheekbone area, you can just round it into like the sideburn or the uh, you know right there. You just round that off. That's it. I'm gonna trim the stash a 
little bit. Lay it down, make sure all the hairs are laid down and sticking up. Line that up right into the beard. Keep it at high and full. And now I have a fully lined up beard that was uh, simple and easy to do. It's even on each side, the symmetry is there. Didn't take long. So I suggest try out the techniques, see how it works for you. And for those who are self grooming at home, who will line up their own beards, same technique. I use the same technique doing mine, uh, but you would want to use a, a second handheld mirror to uh, see the sides easier. But, um, but yeah, same technique. Get the same results. Now I'm blending out the tips. Making sure it's faded into the beard, doing a little sculpting, shaping, knocking out the loose ends, but still keeping it full. Same thing on the other side. Now we're gonna get to some detail work. I got the Rich Barber razor holder, and now we're gonna get the headline. Gotta check your work with the mirror. As we know, the mirror always tells the truth. So once we're done with the razor work, we are going to apply some enhanced hair fibers. And this is to enhance the cut, enhance the look. And this is how you attach the application bump, right? You wanna take off the main top cap, then you take off the sprinkler cap, right? Two caps you remove, then you're able to screw the application pump onto the fiber bottle. And now with a fresh application card, you wanna remove the film and then you're set to go all right so place the application card up against the hairline light pumps filling in any light areas filling in the area around the hairline a few pumps but you want to move away from that spot as soon as you start to see it fill in all right because you want it to still look natural you don't want to pile up too much fibers on the hairline or wherever you're applying it so uh few pumps we see it start getting dark and filling in stop and you're good and if you need to apply more you can always go back but um, you know, less is more he's not thinning he's not balding we just enhancing the cut and once the fibers are fully applied we're gonna take the enhanced hold spray use the application card to keep it out the eyes I'm going to spray it across the hairline into the hair. This will give him all day wear. And 
then we're gonna do the same thing with the beer, all right? But this time we're gonna bend the application core in the shape of the beer line. And again, a few pumps, light pumps, make sure we keep it natural, just fill it in. As soon as we start seeing it get dark, we stop pumping. Same thing on the other side. And you can accurately apply the fibers with the card and you really don't need to line it up. So if you're at home and uh, you know, you're not skilled with the trimmer, you know, practice this and you can uh, get really good at it. You don't necessarily need to always line it up afterwards. But you know, as a barber, you know, we're gonna hit it again after we apply the fibers to make sure you know it's extra sharp, extra crispy, and uh, fully enhanced. Now I'm gonna throw in the part and I'm gonna start it slightly over to his right, following the hairline, bringing it over to the left. And with parts designs, I always just first like sketch it out, like lightly put it in there and then I come back. Once I have it where I want it, and uh, then I come back and detail it. And in this case, we're going to uh, widen it, make it a little thicker. So once we have it in there, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna sharpen the side of the line that's closest to his hairline. I'm gonna sharpen it up on this side, but I'm not gonna make it thicker on this side because I don't wanna knock out hairs that's close to his hairline. So I'm gonna make it thicker by removing hair on top of the part, the, the top side of the part. As you can see here, you know, we're bringing it up, up into the crown. And here what I'm doing is I'm trimming the hair slightly around the part. And then I'm going to go back and detail it up a little more. Just want to make sure the part stands out and stays in place. So, you know, of course, the lower the hair is, the more it's controlled. So you want to trim the hair around the part and then double back, hit it again with the liners. This will uh, keep the hair in position so that the part actually holds its shape. So you can also use the enhanced clear application cards for parts and designs to apply the fibers uh, very accurately and precise. So now I'm gonna just run through it one more time with the razor, final touch-ups. A little free handing over the waves. Make sure you keep control. I lay my back fingers, the back of my hand and fingers onto the head so I can feel my weight as I uh, run it across. And then uh, making sure I tilt the clipper slightly upward so I don't dip into the hair. Now we're gonna bless him with some 
Pro Rich Beard Oil. Allow him to apply that to his beard. Rich nutrients, rich results, shine, luster, everything a beard needs to look like that. That's the final cut. Wavelength fade, with a part, full beard, Pro Rich Collection. As always, I appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment. Let me know how y'all feel about the video. It's the Rich Barber. I'm out.